Hey there. So, we all like to play games, right? I mean, I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you like games. Uh, and we all kind of know that the best place to play games or the best graphics, it's all on PC. And it's great if you have a gaming PC because gaming PCs are tons of fun. But if you don't, or if you're traveling and you don't can't really afford one, uh, for whatever reason you're stuck with, say, a Mac or a laptop of some kind that can't run games, then I might have a solution for you. There's this thing called GeForce Now, and it's a new service by NVIDIA, the people who make graphics cards, that lets you stream games from the cloud. And what that means is, you know like Netflix? Imagine Netflix, but for games. And you have to own the games, so you don't get to play any game, but you just log into your Steam account or Battle.net, whatever, on their servers, and then you can access whatever game you want and stream it. And right now there's a free beta that you can play as much as you want. In the future, there will be paid options, but who knows, it might even be worth it. So let's take a look and see what exactly the deal is with GeForce Now. I've opened GeForce Now, I've installed it. I'm here on my underpowered MacBook, <laughs> um, which normally, you know, I have a Steam library, I have Battle.net, whatever I've installed on here, but even for the games that I can play on Mac, they won't necessarily run well because this isn't a very powerful laptop. But I have GeForce Now, uh, which isn't beta right now. You can try it out for free. It's going to be paid later on. So let's see if it's worth it. Let's launch Overwatch, which is, you know, a popular game. And let me just preface this by saying this is kind of a worst case scenario because a game like Overwatch is really about as demanding as you can get from something like this. Because if you think about it, you're streaming kind of like Netflix from a data center. And in a game like Overwatch, you don't want lag. And here we are with Overwatch, so let's launch it. Now, first time you launch it, it might take a little bit of time to download, but their data center has pretty fast internet. And since it's on their end, they'll download it pretty fast. So don't worry about that. That usually does not take too much time. So here I am waiting for it to load. It's loading. And as you can see, I'm just moving my mouse with the trackpad over here and it's really responsive. Uh, now let's go online. Now I'm going to commit the uh, cardinal sin of playing an online shooter with a trackpad. I'm sorry, you know, I know you hate me already, but you know, we're doing this for science. Let's see what it's like once we actually get in game. Oh, it's already mid-game. Awesome. That makes this easier. Okay. Come on. I just shoot people. That's all I do. I'm not actually skilled. Come on. <laughs> oh, I'm going to blame the trackpad for this. Oh, we're in overtime. Look at that. Okay. Getting back on the payload. I got my ultimate. I may not have voice chat, but I can use the built-in... Uh, voice lines. Okay. Stay on the payload. We might actually do this. Oh man. Crap, I should have stayed on the payload. I thought someone else did. Okay. Well. Yeah. Looks like GeForce Now can't make you a better gamer, but it can give you a pretty smooth experience. It's going to be priced at around $20 to $25 for every 20 hours of play. And when you think about it, that's kind of a problem. That's a dollar an hour. And so if you play a lot of games, that can add up really quick. Um, and you might overall in the long run be better off just building your own PC later. Um, however, if you're really in a pinch, if you travel a lot, if you have a laptop and you want to keep using it, um, or and you have decent internet, I think GeForce Now is a really compelling option. And right now in the free beta period, there's no reason not to try it. So you know what? Take this Mac or whatever you got and uh, turn it into a supercharged gaming machine because that's what GeForce Now does, and that's pretty cool. So overall, I think GeForce Now is a great experience. Um, if you're someone who needs it, definitely a great option. Uh, it's a little expensive, but, you know, sometimes that's what you got to do. Um, so, yeah. Thanks, hope this video helped you out, and uh, good luck gaming on your Mac or laptop or whatever. See ya.